there's three types of women from what I noticed in my in my life. And there's uh wives, then you have concubines, then you have whores. And a lot of the, the problem came in was when they won't make prostitution legal and they won't make polygamy legal. So you, you create a factor of everybody lying saying they're white. And they're in a position that they're gonna be miserable in because they're really not a white. Some of them are uh, concubines or some of them are whores. But, you know, they got to pretend like they're a wife to have a place in society. What you think about that? Well, before she answer, let me respond to that. <laughs> Three different types of women. Wives, concubines, and whores. Now, I have a different category. Um, my category is this. And y'all probably seen it in some of my videos if you watched. Um... My my three different types of what is is Wonder Women, uh, which I call wives. OK, uh, the second one is um, pick me possibles. OK, because I do love pick me women, um, but I sometimes question their motives a little bit. And then there are um, the undesirables. OK, the um, so. And you don't have to be a whore to be an undesirable. You could be uh, just a total, you know, feminist who really don't even like men, really. Um, and to me, the the sisterhood undesirables are to me on the bottom of the totem pole because they don't even want to deal with men. They don't like men. They they very um, misandrous. OK, when it comes to men and they blame everything on men and everything is black girl magic or everything is just uh, female empowerment and they're in complete competition with men. OK, they could be they don't have to be whores. They don't have to uh, they, they could be very beautiful. OK, these women can be um, and they could be very educated. You know, they could be very um you know, have have I guess you could say the stat sheet, and the uh, you know have everything on a on a on a sheet that you 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 would think that you would want in a woman. Good looks, uh, good education, probably makes good money, but none of that matters to men, and a lot of women don't realize that. So they could be undesirable, but mostly if you are undesirable, you're probably not that attractive. But um. Those are my three types of women. Uh, Wonder women who are wives. Pick me possibles. Uh, they could go either way. And then the uh, sisterhood undesirables. But let's go back in. Well, I think that comparing women to only concubines and whores is kind of, well, extremely demeaning. And here's why. A woman's only title as wife being her entire value is so problematic because my name is Iris and whether I'm married or not married, my value doesn't change. Now, um, what she said is key. My name is Iris and whether I'm married or not married, my value doesn't change to you. Okay. But not to men. And that's the part that a lot of women don't get. Um, Yes, your value to yourself may not change, but your value to men, it does matter. OK, it does matter if, if you're um, wifey material. Um, you may you can coast along in life not really wanting to get married. And that's fine. That's your prerogative. Do, do your thing. But a lot of women don't understand that. Um, to men, we, we look for a lot of different things than what men, women look for. OK, women have taken the male metrics and applied it upon themselves and said, OK, the same things I'm looking for in a man, I'm going to try to achieve those things to up my value. Well, we don't care about that stuff. Um, I'm not saying don't have self-esteem. She has self-esteem and her name is Iris and she still has value. And that's great. But look, um, I'm not the richest man on the planet. Right. And to some women, I don't have value. 
Now, does that mean that uh, I don't value myself? No, I value myself a billion trillion times over. Okay, but women that I may want may not value that. Okay, I'm not broke, but at the same time, it's like, you know, I'm not as valuable to some women. And that's 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 fine. That's fine. You just have to understand when you're talking about relationships, which is what he's talking about, wives, concubines or whores. He's talking about in a relationship setting. OK, she's talking about in her own personal setting. Uh, I, I still have value. Yeah, you still have value to you. But when we talk in relationships, as far as wives and husbands and stuff like that, we're talking about men. And if we're talking about men, we're talking about, yeah, you may have value to yourself, but um, what value do you bring to me as a man? OK, um, I would not like I said, I would not have used the word horse like he did. Um, I just gave you all my metric. <clears throat> on it but what she needs to understand is we talk in relationships we're not talking this individual stuff okay everybody has well I would like to think everybody has value within themselves but when you talk in relationships or the opposite sex what value do you have okay but she turned it into an individual thing let's go back in a woman who is um, more promiscuous, for instance, being devalued in society is often laughable to me because the number one complaint I get from most men who are married is that their wife doesn't want to sleep with them. So, Yeah, that is, there are a lot of sexless marriages out there. And, there, and, 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 and a woman who is promiscuous, just because she was promiscuous before don't mean she's going to be a freak in the bed when she get married. That don't mean that. Okay? She could still go cold with her husband and go cold fish all right um your sex uh, there there is a myth out there it seemed like with women they feel like they got to get more um experience with other men they gotta they gotta have a hot girl summer i i don't, I don't know where this uh ideology is coming from but she's saying oh well a, a promiscuous woman uh, you should want one because she'll be a freak for you in the marriage. No, that's not true. That's not true at all. She could still be a cold fish. She could still be, uh, you know, she she still maybe she. <laughs> women are catching up with men as far as cheating now. She could be seeing somebody else. Okay, you don't you don't want no promiscuous woman just because like that that's ridiculous. And she's trying to make a case for promiscuous women. That's it's just ridiculous. There's no good scenario that can come out of it for for a man is, is all I'm saying. I don't make her more experienced or whatever. I don't make her not be a cold fish in the marriage. That don't make none of that. It just means that she was easy to get into. That's all it was. That's all it means. Anyway, let's go back in. So they get a woman who doesn't like intimacy and then get mad at her for denying him that and then go sleep with the other woman who enjoys that kind of activity instead of considering the woman who enjoys that kind of activity as a possible partner because just because a woman has had partners doesn't mean she can't be faithful to one partner it just means that she has been not sitting there being virginal for, um to a man's standard of what they want a lot of these ideas um trick people because the women I know who are married and happy, contrary to what people say, weren't all sitting around with chastity belts on. Yeah, they wasn't sitting around with chastity belts on. They probably spun the block. Yeah. And they, they may be, uh, you know, happily married, but do you really know what's going on in all of those marriages? Probably not. You don't know what's going on in all of those marriages and uh, the, the men that's in those marriages. You got to take that into account, too. Some guys have a higher drive than other guys. Some some guys have a lower drive. Some guys, um, you know, may want to do certain things that, uh, you know, their their significance don't want to do. 
you know that's what that's why you date so you can find that stuff out but i you know this whole thing about chastity is 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 becoming a big topic because a lot of women are saying that um things like body count shouldn't matter and men should want a woman with pretty much a high body count and and because a woman with a high body count has experience or whatever the case may be um that's a topic i'm gonna get into a little later but um hit that like share and subscribe okay and i will catch you in the next one as, as a matter of fact that may be one of the topics that i talk about in the next episode or so take care of yourself peace Thank you.